never got my Instagram password. Mm. Did you fucked. just log out and then completely forgot? Well, this is a new iPad, so I've never logged into Instagram. <laughs> oh, but you're like logged in into like another device. Yeah, my phone. Oh, okay. Then. And then my phone's up there. You so, you uh, you model too, right? I wouldn't say model. I do have a phone. Oh yeah, we're gonna have to need these mics up like right here. Yeah. Like there you go. There you go. There you go. That's right. That's right. Don't be shy, girl. You're a model, but like, don't take pictures of me. Yeah. No, it's kind of like when no, people ask you... me if I'm a comedian, I'll be like, ah, you know, I try. Yeah. Yeah. I'll exactly. Try. Yeah. Hey, knock, I knock. I do it for fun because, <laughs> yeah. like, I'm not here to like get big. And no, shit. but I'm you're just here, here though to represent where I came from That's right. and what other people want. This idea. T- of t- look at the look at the camera. There you go. <laughs> hey, that's what's up. Well, today we got some sick ass hyenas in the studio. Welcome to the little brown boy studio. We got uh, Juliana, Chavis. and then we got Black Sage on Instagram. What's your full name? Alessa Gutierrez. Sick Alessa ass Gutierrez. Hey, no, hey no, fool, no. sometimes people come to the stool, dog. We don't know shit, dog. Yeah. <laughs> We're just come kick it, fool. If you yeah. can come kick it, you can fucking post up with us, bro. Julian, you might have seen her on our campaign for Imagine yeah. Fool for our first merch drop. You might have seen her on the Born and Raised uh, catalog. You might have seen her at the Sim Sim Frenos catalog. She's also a creative director and a fucking sick ass hand all around. But you want to add to that? Um. Oh, and I also make bandana pillows. Yeah. Oh, there they are. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. Sick ass for them. Um, Sick But ass. no, I mean, I guess other than like, you know, the creative stuff I've done, I also hold a bachelor's in sociology and I do plan to go back one day and be a guidance counselor. Oh, okay. Um, but right now it's just about, you know, being able to get the money for that and be able to fund it. So I would need to get my master's in counseling. Nah, that's why you're here. So everybody, open up your cash apps <laughs> and send us like you know the little twenty pesos. And but, sociology is like the study of societies, right? Yeah, and like the way like people function in spaces. And yeah, all that. that's mm-hmm. interesting. Yeah, I'm not so I'm a sociopath, so, <laughs> but not a sociology asshole. I don't know, dog. But um, you guys are from Northeast LA, you know? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Like, what's that? That's what's right. it like growing up in Northeast LA, fool? Because I mean, we're Southeast LA, fool. Southeast. I know it was far. It was a far little drive over here. <laughs> yeah. I wonder if there's that much difference, though. Do you think there is? I don't think so, mm, fool. Honestly, no. I mean, wife beaters, markets, liquor stores, fucking you there's know, Cortez's posted on the block for sure. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like now that now that Northeast LA is getting a little fucking taken over. Like, how do you guys feel about that though? Like, is there is the culture get taking an impact, or are you guys like trying to like keep it, you know, a raza, or how do you feel about that? Um, definitely trying to keep it all rasa, but I'm not, I'm not gonna, like, be disrespectful or rude to anybody who's, like, being respectful towards me, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, just the other day, I was with the homegirl. We were, like, right there in Highland Park, and then this white lady tried to argue with us. She was staring at us from the very beginning. It was funny, this day we were supposed to have a photo shoot. Yeah. So, we had, like... Um, makeup done. We had eyeshadow, blue you eyeshadow, extra chola, right? extra <laughs> chola. We had blue eyeshadow. We had lip liner, big old hoops, baggy jersey, and then she was just staring at us for a good minute. The homegirl confronted her. Long story short, she called the cops on us and then tried to say that I was about to fuck her up. That I said I was gonna fuck her up while she was holding a pepper spray towards me the whole time, threatening me, saying that she's gonna pepper spray me. That's Damn. fucking locked out, fool. She was just hating. Fuck, bro. I can't. I, I, Karen's. I haven't had an encounter, dog. I can't. Honestly, that was my first one. I always said, "Damn, I'll wait for the day. I'll wait for." The-. That was my first one. I was like, <laughs> "Okay, this is the day. I got time today." Yeah. Especially because it was like, in my neighborhood, like you're not about to disrespect me in my own neighborhood. Oh, okay, so it turns out, <laughs> funny story. We ended up getting her fired from her job. Because she wasn't. <laughs> she didn't live there. Okay. Um. The she was a cat city for that house. So um my homegirl's family, um, they're good friends with that family and they sent over the video because we were recording the whole time for our safety because yeah, yeah, she yeah. was threatening me. I was scared the whole time. Yeah, it's crazy. To be honest. She's over here telling the cops I'm about to jump her. Like that's scary. But anyways, um we sent they sent over the video and yeah, they apologized and they said that she wasn't gonna be returning. But, but that's like, crazy how like she get she's getting be- like the cops thrown at her for her look, but people are actually paying her for her look. Right. You know right what I mean? Right, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like you have a distinct look. That's why I I feel like 
when I hit you up for the first time and I seen the way you dress and the way you present yourself on Instagram, and I have a fucking like, I have a sick ass eye, fool. I have a sick <laughs> ass eye. I was like, oh yeah, she's cool. And fucking, I hit her up. I was like, yeah, like come model for us for a little bit. And that was a cool last day. I was drunk as fuck, but um, you were. I was faded. You were. But um, he said what's up to me like eyes looking off the ways. <laughs> Hey, he's got a good eye though. I got a good eye. <laughs> just one. Yo, fool. but like then she, she got, then next thing you know, fool, she's on born and raised. Yeah, yeah. You know yeah. what I mean? Like, how do you feel about that? Like, those are accomplishments. You're first of all, that's cool that you started off with the story because that's a perfect example of what the fuck is crazy, fool. You're getting cops thrown at you. You know what I mean? Like, bitch, like fucking get off the block. And then all of a sudden, you got someone else over here being like, "Hey, you want a job?" You know what I mean? You want to look fucking fly as fuck? You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So, like, how does that... How do you feel about, like, having... Do you, like, is it... Do you take pride in every time you get, like, get dolled up? Or, like... Or are you just, like, whatever, this is what I look like, and that's it? Yeah. I mean, also, because, like, I mean, I look like this every day. So, I don't really have to, like, get dolled up too much. Unless it's, like, a concept shoot that they have planned and all that. But for the most part, like, the way I dress is really just how... I've been dressing or also paying homage to my mom, how she dressed, how my tia's dressed, you know, looking back at a bunch of family photos, like, it's just the same style. Yeah. yeah, And then also, I feel like I'm more of, like, a little tomboyish, just because I was raised by odd brothers. All of them. Yeah, so. How how many brothers you got? Like five. Fuck. Like five. You're the only girl. Hey, yeah, I'm the only girl. I'm the youngest. Do exactly. not like, date her. Just like, <laughs> Yo, no, all my brothers are metalheads. They're oh, for real? Mm-hmm. What's up, rocker ass fools? Metalheads. They be Met- getting mad when I call them rockers. Oh uh, yeah. Rocker for like I'm a fucking like, metalhead. Like um, what do you call those? Like what do you call it? hair bands? Like the fucking big old hair bands? Like the bands with the big hair? Wig bands or whatever? You know what I'm talking about? No. Or just heavy metal? Just fucking heavy metals? Yeah, fucking mm-hmm. head banging, fucking crazy. My yeah, brother's dog. in a band right now. He's on tour. He's touring with, he's because he drives trailers at the moment, but mm-hmm. he also has his own band. But right now he's on tour with another band. They're pretty big in the metal scene. I forgot what their name was, but it's pretty dope. So right now he's fucking. Traveling I'm a fucking the world. poser fool. I listen to Green Day. And shit. Green Day. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm not a fucking heavy metal fool. My metal's light, bro. So light. Aluminum? No. Yeah, aluminum. <laughs> aluminum metal. <laughs> yeah, d- damn. Fucking growing up with five bros, fool. Fuck the wedgies. Ugh. Yeah, that. I, I want to uh, talk about that that old lady, the Karen, a little bit. Mm-hmm. Um, I think she has a a fucked up perception of what danger looks like. Like if yeah. you're out here wearing like big hooves, you know, like whatever, like mm-hmm. you're not dressed in in attire to do a robbery. And she yeah. don't know what robberies look like that. Dog. Yeah, and like in my homegirl's pregnant. Okay, so keep that in mind too. Yeah. Also, in no way was was our body. We weren't even paying attention to her. Yeah. My homegirl called her out because she she was dogging us the like, whole time. What you looking at? Yeah, she was like, "What?" And even then, you know, like if somebody says that, you would. You feel me? If you weren't, or if you weren't looking for trouble, you'd probably be like, "Oh, you know, like you know, quick." Dismiss it. Yeah. She was kind of like laughing. And then she brought up, she's like, oh, well, you guys were laughing. So I want to know what's so funny. Oh, And we're shit. like, we were having a completely different conversation yeah, in the no, car. We weren't even acknowledging her. She's probably just mad that she yeah. was a model when she was younger. And she That's didn't go nowhere with it and never got hit yeah, up for like, photo shoots. These hot ass girls like, right here, dog. Like, what's funny? <laughs> <laughs> you guys want me to? What's up? Want me I, to model, I used to model too. Yeah. You guys want me to jump in or no? No. Yeah, remember right. Kmart? <laughs> what's cracking? <laughs> yeah. No, yeah that's crazy though is there other like when you're out like because i've seen some of your shoots most of them not well you guys go outside so mm-hmm. you guys do a lot of stuff on the streets mm-hmm. is there any like other than that situation has there been other stories where like she gets kind of weird or like challenging in a way just shooting out in the environment you know it's different than shooting in the I studio know, that's fucking crazy the elements of life mm-hmm. in a yeah. shorter shoot yeah because yeah. yeah. you're trying to be professional right you're trying to do your job as as you know, yeah, you're make, trying to fucking art. look sick, fool. You're trying to be like, you know, yeah. like, give me your model face right now. Sick ass, fool. My <laughs> shit, according to her, my shit's like this. My, my eyes are like this. <laughs> bro, I was I got one good eye. faded, bro. <laughs> oh, no, I think about it. But yeah, like, what's it like being on a photo shoot in the elements in the hood, dog? Some crazy uh, shit happens. Or what's it like working with such a big brand with like Born and Raised and shit? I don't know. I mean, my only shoots usually that I've done would be like Elysian Park 
you know, car shows Simon. like that. And then, you know, with obviously Juliana. Um, but you know what? Honestly, there's not much to do to it, you know. You don't, well, for me, I don't got to do a lot. Like, even yeah. when it comes to, like, getting ready for a shoot or even having a look. Like, I just, I literally, like, it's just standing there and just being you. You don't need to, like, have this certain, like, mad-ass face, this certain, like, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's just, like, you're there. You're being you in your natural environment, you yeah, know. You're, just you're surrounded with by. It. it was naturally, like. <laughs> you're just surrounded by, like, people like you. And you yeah. feel comfortable. Yeah, in it. So course. it's not in a space where it's like, okay, I got to be a certain way or act a certain way. Like, no, this is where I grow up. You know, this is like me. Like, Right, right. Has there ever been someone that you work with that was like, yo, I, like, I need you more. Like, put some more fucking mm into your shit. <laughs> <laughs> um, honestly, no. I wish there would be more of it, to be honest. Cause some more create, like, directiveness. So like that's kind of also the main reason why I was like, you know what? let me start directing my own shoots like moving forward let Uh me let me do that because yeah there wasn't really much direction and me too i don't know maybe people and photographers assume that like oh she models she knows what she's doing yeah yeah yeah. honestly i don't like i just you feel me like one day i was in my room taking photos next thing you know i'm like i have i'm modeling modeling because it's still kind of weird you know to like call myself a model and all that but Hey, she was in her yeah. room talking shit. You ever talk shit in the room before you go out? You'd be like, what's up, bitch ass? You tripping or what? That's right. That's right. That's right. And then all of a sudden, she gets booked for photo shoots yeah. now? <laughs> no, yeah. It was, it was, yeah, it was crazy. You're, you're taking this path into this creative, like, um, how do you say it? Like, uh, career? Career? Yeah, career, bro. And, just- and, like, it's successful, fool. Like, you're fucking making an impact, bro. Instagram. All these social media platforms that you use for your advantage. Mm-hmm. You know, you're curating shows. You just did a crazy ass fucking lowrider, uh, indigenous, cholo fit fucking, I don't know how to put it, how to explain it. Mm-hmm. Uh, talk to, tell me a little bit about that. Like, you were talking about creative directiveness and, and how you're, you're, you're using these tools. Like, like I said, you just make this show and, and what's the foundation or what was behind that? Like, what was your inspiration behind that? Like, what you just were like fucking lowriders. Hell yeah. Mm-hmm. No, well, cause I've well, I've always been into fashion ever since I was young. Like I said, um, I would go thrifting with my mom. Like I remember back then, like high waisted jeans and high waisted shorts were such a big thing, and only like American Apparel, Hollister, all these stores yeah. had them. And it's all stores like obviously my mom couldn't afford hundred dollars for jeans. So yeah, she yeah. like yeah. no. Anishi, remember Anishi? Yeah. <laughs> so I would go to yeah to the thrift stores and basically like upcycle and rework my own clothes and stuff. So it's always, I've always been into fashion. I've always loved runways. I remember watching like, because back then the only form of runway you had was like Victoria's Secret, right? Yeah. So obviously I would look at that a lot, just like the runway aspect of it and everything. And then obviously now that we're able to get more representation, like we got Rihanna, like fucking changed the whole fucking game. Like, it's love her. Fucking baddest Haina in the world. That yeah. Girlfriend. And then basically it was kind of like a mixture of those two is like, I've always been into fashion. Now I want to do something where I could represent my people and my community. So it just kind of, that's how it happened. So, like, I've always knew I wanted to do a runway show. I just didn't know, like, how. Get me? Because, like I said, like, even two years ago, I was literally just going to college in my room, taking photos, like, with my phone, just brainstorming, like, oh, this is what I want to do. You know, it wasn't, like... Never in my mind, I'd be like, oh, I'd have, I'll come across like dope ass friends who have brands, you know, that I could be like, hey, like, let's collab, let's work on this. And then now that's literally all around me. I'm like, bro, we could do anything we want. Like, literally. Like, yeah, like, run this podcast with you guys. I'm like, bro, you guys are homies. And you guys are making that shit happen. (laughs) You're with me, (laughs) (laughs) And you're doing like a food drive right now, right? As we speak or or a toy drive. Yeah, right now I'm doing like a community give back. Um, This would be our third one with all the homies um this one this time around though i'm really happy and i feel more secure on this one because i feel like we have like a solid team like we have sage on we have my homie charlie we have my homie jonathan priscilla henry andrea cat i don't know if you guys have met cat no no we haven't but she's a dope ass we just know you two down ass high that's it (laughs) dude wait till you meet my whole group they're all down ass and you you guys just threw a big event yeah. I seen this on the social medias where um, you guys had booked like a venue, and then it was so many people that you guys had to go outside. Yeah. Can you talk about how that was? Because you were the creative director of this mm-hmm. event, 
and we know from our events like it gets hectic Hell shit's yeah. cracking so mm-hmm. it's different i get it like you do modeling you do the art but then the direction is is a whole different thing it gets hard to be the director and also the artist at the same time mm-hmm. can you talk a little bit about the event and how it was for you as a director also as uh um, like an artist yeah, yeah, yeah um at first it was all fun like hell yeah i'm doing this little this fashion show you know? say it with your chest girl yeah, like yeah, yeah. it was all fun but then one time it was like oh damn this is huge it was still fun but then i'm like okay now i need to get my shit together yeah. you know especially i was like okay this is my first time showcasing that i'm gonna start you know directing stuff and mm-hmm. all that this is probably gonna be able to book me opportunities and if not well fuck it at least we had a good time yeah. when people know i could throw like a little party you know mm-hmm. Sage was modeling, so she was in the room um, getting changed with makeup, so they had no idea. what. Yeah. So all the models didn't know, other than like videos, quick little clips, I'd see they did not know how packed it was. Yeah. They did not know <laughs> like that, like, because I had like some of them telling me like, yo, can we get like my homie in? I'm like, I want to, oh I would, God. but like, I really can't. Like, I don't want to be that person, not trying to be a bitch, but like, I really cannot. You yep. feel me? It's. Mm-hmm capacity and there's people yeah. that have been waiting since there was people waiting 30 minutes before doors open yeah i was all like that's weird yeah that's it's like a drop you got fans yeah <laughs> i was like that, that was crazy it's to the me. power like, of social media because yeah, right i remember like a week before um uh lasada i believe his name he the venue owner yeah because that's it's called Pixel 7, I believe. That's his new space. A week before, I had um texted him and I asked him, like, yo, um, just wondering, what's your capacity? He's like, I think he said 200. I'm like, okay. Light work, yeah. I'm it's like, we're not going to reach capacity. Yeah. I'm like, yeah, yeah. Nah. Yeah. if we get 200, sick. What was, not what was your estimate amount of people that you think I were there? Like 800? No idea. I have this video footage that he took from the cameras. 800, maybe, to That's be honest. Right more i couldn't tell you but like that that and how'd you feel about that how'd you feel yeah of (laughs) course (laughs) that's why i get faded at my shows no that day sober completely i couldn't even smoke a blunt like i did not drink at all you didn't even eat huh not even an ounce of water (laughs) no for real the whole like hey you want to be fucking sick as high now dog like it was crazy yeah i was just running (laughs) back and forth everywhere that night but yeah, the turnout, I was definitely not expecting it. I know people were going to pull up, you know, because even with just our homies, I'm like, yeah, I'm yeah, happy yeah. with just our homies, you know, yeah, cool. yeah, yeah. But just seeing the line there, like up until an hour till we closed, that was insane to me. So it was all crazy. Yeah, she was beautiful. Yeah, yeah it, looked, was, it looked it looked awesome. fucking sick. And, and then, we want to congratulate yeah, you. Yeah, congrats right away. on your yeah, success, yeah, dog, and for then, real. Uh, we're very excited to see what else is next, you know, yeah. like the next show. Yeah. Yeah. If you need yeah, host, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I already fucking know. You got you I need two clowns two right clowns here, dog. Payasitos de la tele, no man. I know. How did you feel as a model? For you were just like fucking blue they just stealing saw me all the running in and out, like <laughs> yeah, it was, stuff. it was yeah. hectic. Like come in, out, you know, say like what's going on. There's a lot of shit going on, but in us, because we were in a room for like an hour, almost two hours, like because yeah. you know we're getting ready, doing touch ups on makeup. Yeah, it was <laughs> the tension yeah, was high. Like, you it was hot. Yeah, so it was just, like, we were all just, like, wondering, like, what the fuck? And then, like, you know, she came in probably, like, a couple minutes, like, before we are supposed to run. She's, like, we're taking this shit outside. And I was, like, what? Like, it was, like, no fucking way. And we're, like, all right, like, we're just going to go with the flow, you know? Fucking follow the leader. And honestly, like, the feeling, like, when I stepped out, my heart's just fucking racing, you know? It's just, like, a beat, like being around so many people and like all the damn flashes from everybody. Yeah, 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 it's yeah. like the yeah. amount of media that was covered was crazy. Yeah, huh? it was crazy. And then not only did you guys do like the fashion, it was integrated with lowriders too, right? Yeah, so, like, at a point, you guys were runway. I have to bring the homies on. That's the thing, but I have to bring all my homies on. If I'm gonna of do course. something, I'm gonna do something, and I'm gonna make sure I represent. Community. And, and shout out to them. Yeah, every single Bye. element that went into it, it was something that was. A representation of my culture, my people, and my community. Mm-hmm. But yeah, you know, I had the homies outside. Shout out to um, Northeast Car Club. That's the homie behind yeah. me. Do you have any other events similar to this in mind for the future, or are you kind of taking a break from that kind of Fashion stuff? Fashion show wise, um, I definitely do because 
you know, this is my first time doing it. And I, as busy as I was and as hectic as it was, like, I love doing this shit. Like, just seeing all the feedback from everybody, seeing all the videos from people tagging me, like, seeing their perspective, their point of view throughout the night. I'm like, this is fucking crazy. Because yeah. obviously, everybody had a good time. I was, like, yeah. everywhere, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So... For that, you know, definitely do want to do it again. But right now it's just about, you know, finding the right people, finding the right brand, trying to figure out who I can work with. Mm. Right, right, and then right. maybe seeing if I could elevate, if I could elevate <laughs> it and step it up more, you know. Yeah. It's interesting that you say that. That's fucking crazy. Yeah. You just want to make sure you're with the right people <laughs> that are going right to take, treat work. you right. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Yeah, like not like laggers or like uh, <laughs> or people that try to like take like credit, takers. you know, like some She's people. Awesome. <laughs> <laughs> We're looking nah, at each other like, like I don't want to do it, bro. I don't want to do it, Terry. <laughs> nah, nah, but like, there, like yeah, uh, not only was it a success, there was a little bit of drama behind it, right? <laughs> there was a little drama there behind it, right? Drama. Let's there talk was. about it, cause nah, fuck that. <laughs> <laughs> Hell nah. There was I'm a bully, drama, fool. But I'm a, first of all, I'm a bully, dog. <laughs> Recognize it. I'm I'm pro bully culture. Okay, I, I fuck with that. So what's up, dog? Some shit went down, fool. You had this, you know, you like you said, you just explained. You practically laid it the floor mat right now with it. You said you were the creative director. You were up and down. You fucking handled the business, and you didn't even eat, fucking breathe, <laughs> everything, right? But like some people had the nerve to like try to take your credit, try, try to take your sh- your shine, right? Mm-hmm. So what happened there? What happened in that that situation? Like what what's the deeds behind that? Because if you don't say it, it's gonna happen all o- again and again and again, mm-hmm. you know. And it's like it, that's not fair for people like you, for your your models, for you know people that enjoyed the media, enjoyed everything. It's not fair for them to be like, oh, like my credit goes to that person, but in reality, it should have been way. You know what I mean? So let me know, bro. Let talk to me, dog. Mm. I'll cry with you. Um. Well, I mean, no. Just in terms of you know, when you're gonna work with somebody or at least a team, give credit where credit's due. I mean, that's just with anything. Yeah. Like literally anything in life. You feel me? Somebody helps you out. You just give credit. So at the end of the day, it was just about that. Um. That was really my main issue. Other than that, you know, there is really nothing else. But. It was just a lack of communication and just constant, in a way, disrespect the way I saw it, you know? Because, I mean, when I, even as a homie, as a homie, as a business partner, if I have an issue with something, I'm going to communicate. Of course. Like, I'm going to let you know, yo, I don't like this. Not in a way to, like, fight or do none of that. No, like, just to talk it like, we're all grown. So once I felt like that was being disrespected even further yeah. and then i'm just like you know what i can't i can't stay quiet about this i didn't want to bring it to social media like that wasn't my intentions keep in mind this happened like two weeks maybe after the event you know yeah yeah yeah. but yeah like it was just i just felt like there obviously there was things that happened between that time which gave which kind of initiated me, you know, I'm like, okay, this time I have to put my foot down. For sure. Just because it was like, everything was over and there was still like, there's just like the lack of respect. And I'm like, you okay, you say like, mm-hmm. yeah, you know, man. but like so, f- fucking, it just sucks to see that these type of fools that fucking their whole branding, their whole fucking thing is rasa this, rasa that. And then it's like, yo, you're stepping on your own fucking people's foot right here. Yeah. I mean, I definitely yeah. will give, you know, um are the artists and everybody on the team their flowers you know like everybody's fucking talented there's a reason why i decided to work with these people there's a reason why i pitched my idea and a reason why i recruited everybody on the team because Mm -hmm. every single person is talented in their own way you know so it's not like i'm not I don't want to be on here, you know, trying to make it seem like I'm talking shit because I feel like that's not talking shit. I want I want you to talk shit. (laughs) No, it's just um (laughs) it's just I don't know. It's just like I said, at the end of the day, like I said this multiple times, we're we're all like homies or we're all like regular people doing industry shit. You feel me? So it's like sometimes people don't know how to navigate that. They don't know like oh shit i didn't know i need to do that you know so there's a lot of learning on both ends yeah mm -hmm. that's why i'm not so like you know and then given the fact that i want to continue moving 
in this industry in this direction you know there i have to take into consideration that you know a lot of people don't know how to how to move in certain situations Mm -hmm. like i can't be mad at that all i could do is just speak my truth stand up for myself and then just keep it pushing you know Mm -hmm. and at the end of the day it's a learning experience yeah like we had a homie come through last week that uh he got this opportunity to work with this person pretty high up in the industry like you said right also brown and about the latinos and all this right and then the homie was feeling like they were getting over on him right and he's like, damn, it was cool and everything, but there's, it's unfortunate that this happened because they were trying to fuck him over with, like, credit and stuff like that. And I'm like, no, nah, no, nah, don't worry, bro. This is new. Like, this is new to welcome you. Welcome to Hollywood, you big get, dog. And, and like that, that's what sucks. It's like, usually we'll say shit like, oh, welcome to Hollywood, right? Like, mm-hmm. people in Hollywood fuck each other, each other over all the time. It's expected. But like, this is not really Hollywood, though. I thought we're saying. fucking with no, yeah. the people. Be your, my own people. Be your own people sometimes. But I told, I told him, I was like, look, bro, don't look at it like, like they fucked you over. Just next time, you know how to move in the in a way that it won't that's happen what, again. That's what I mean. Like in a way, like don't take it personal. You right. feel me? Like that's why when the when I did that, I'm like, look, my feelings are completely out of this. This is not about my feelings. This is just about professionalism, and that's that. Cause yeah, you know, there's people that like will talk, and I feel like that's just my problem. I guess I just don't tolerate shit. That's I good. just don't know how to that's shut good. the fuck up. Like, no, that's good. I really Hold on. Don't. First of all, do we start this podcast by fucking talking shit about a lady with a cat? <laughs> just let you know right now. You know what I mean? Several cats. And several yeah. cats. I get that, dog. Fuck that. I just fool. don't tolerate shit. You know, like, if I see something, I'm going to speak. Like I said, I'm going to speak on it. Yeah. And it just depends how that person takes it. Because, you know, like from the time of me doing this like creative shit, um, I've run into fucking, fucking a grip lot of fucking of we get we get weird ass fools, huh? delusional ass people sometimes. And it's a sad. it's a lot of <laughs> it's a lot of people that are being idolized, and yeah. I'm just like, damn, that's crazy. Yeah, fool, like yeah. people that just like you know, yeah, I'm fucking brown, I'm this, and I can't even speak a fucking lick of Spanish. Yeah, you know what I mean? Oh, I'm this, I'm that. I can't. I don't even know what fucking chiles toriados are. You know what I mean? Oh, that's- I'm this, I'm that. <laughs> fucking uh, fucking right here. But uh, I'm a, yeah, yeah, you know what yeah, I mean? I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a you know, <laughs> like what the fuck, fool? Hey, yeah. fool, real talk on some re- like gangster shit, fool. I will fucking tell you your shit is whack. You yeah, know what I mean? Yeah, I will yeah, yeah. always tell you your shit is stupid. That shit's retarded. Whatever, bro. I don't give a fuck, fool. And that shit like bothers me when you create something so fucking tight. It's fucking dope as fuck. 800 people pull up, low riders, pictures, media make a ruckus, and then someone else just tries to, like, step in front of you. That shit gives me fucking hot, bro. Like, well, you know. Hopefully next time that shit don't happen, whoever yeah, they I'm, decide to work with. I'm not I, calling a certain brand now. It's just anybody in general. Any yeah, brand well, like in I general. said, it's, it's, a, it's a very good learning experience. There's a difference between how things look on social media versus how things are in real life. For example, like, I hardly ever post on social media that much, right? But if hopefully you meet me in real life, you're like, oh, that's a cool dude. Like, and I'm responsible when I say I'm going to do something, I'll do it, right? And responsible. I, for me, real life matters more than what the social media yeah. looks like. You know what yeah. I mean? That's why I'm just like, I'm not going to, like, because at the end of the day, like, that's I'm like, maybe something I should watch. Not really, because I'm not really, like, out here calling people out of their name, you know? But, yeah. like, at the end of the day, like, I don't care what bridges I burn if it if i was just speaking up on my experience or you know if it's not a good bridge yeah like at the end of the day <laughs> I, didn't, burn that I, shit. I, I didn't need it you feel me yeah. so that's why i'm just like yeah because at the end of the day it also goes like against everything i stand for okay, I feel, for I sure feel very hypocritical by myself you feel me like yeah i was a teacher i was teaching my kids like yo stand up for yourself you know tolerate yeah. shit yeah. obviously you know keeping it family friendly yeah so then just now <laughs> because i'm in a different environment i'm like nah i shouldn't change even when i was in like when i was teaching like i didn't change how i dressed whatsoever yeah i pulled up how i'm looking right now like i would pull up teaching my students hoops everything Mm -hmm. like that was not that wasn't a problem because it's like the way i dress has nothing to do with what like my level of intelligence or what i got going on in my mind you feel me so that's why it's like no matter what environment i'm in I'm not gonna change or cater to that environment and if it if it means like damn fuck it, I'll bring that connection and then so and so because they're connected to that, then fuck it, I will. Like Yeah. I well, really don't care for that. That's a good way to secure longevity is mm. by being authentic. Damn, because if longevity. you're being 
Thick ass be. words. <laughs> Hell yeah. yeah. He was on yeah, the, yeah. Well, I the dictionary. That one. <laughs> oh, for poncho. We keep, where we keep tabs on how many uh, big words we say. Yeah, <laughs> sometimes I be making up words. That's how yeah. hard it is right here. You gotta get a little bell. But it's like when, when you be like... <laughs> there you go. Like when you be lying or putting up a front, I think like somebody you're not, like that only lasts so long yeah. until you get exposed. And what it's like comes if, drunk, like... Yeah, if if you want if you want people to fuck with you and your stuff, yeah, you gotta be at least a you gotta try to be authentic because sometimes it's hard to be vulnerable, like in front of people that you don't know. Keep it a bug, but just try try to be like you know what like whatever. Some of the (laughs) some of the best and and, and this this applies that applies like to it applies to real life. It applies to any aspect that you're working on, like even in comedy, like when you do like jokes. Sometimes saying the truth is fucking hilarious. It's just hilarious. Like, hey, you know what? Like, fucking ama. <laughs> Who came back to the ama? Right? <laughs> you know what I mean? I think he misses. His I miss my mom. <laughs> you you said something about his eyes, and he's like ama. Ama, Mr. Asino bully. Mr. Asino bully. He said he's bully guy. Yeah. There you go. Now, nah, but yeah. let's talk. Let's talk back about about your family because that should really intrigue me. Like, who who's the gangster in your family? The gangster. Like you said, you 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 you, you took a lot of your not immediate family, distant uh-huh. family, like primos, uncles, and stuff. Yeah. Because my my dad kicked it with all the okay, with uh, all the because mm-hmm. when I was young, <laughs> when I was younger, I was raised in Highland Park and Drew Street. Uh huh. So he would always always go to Drew Street and play by the house there. Oh so shit! Sick. I was either in Highland Park or Drew Street. And that was when like you know Drew Street was hot. We always felt like family, you know. Mm-hmm. <laughs> but um, like. But yeah, so those are the two like neighborhoods I was like back and forth going between. But yeah, not immediate family. Like no. I said, my brothers are metalheads. Yeah, 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 yeah. So like you just went with your dad. You were were you with your dad all the time? Like set the pagas como chicle. Like you would just um, be stuck with it. When with I them? was younger, yes, because my dad would like go out a lot. Like he'd go to Jewish Street, and then I'd have my friends over there. So I'd go play with my friends, and then he'd go to Glasgow Park. They'd have like big Damn, games. So I'd go Park. to the park, and you know. So for the most part, when I was younger, yeah, I was with my dad a lot. And that area is not the same anymore, huh? Like totally not the same anymore. No, no. Like Drew Street before, you weren't able to. Now there's fucking drive through that. Now there's fucking uh, lattes. Yeah. And fucking that's that's happening, right? Yeah, like that show on Netflix called Hentified or something like that. Gentrified. 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 Yeah, my bad. Gentrified. You know what I'm talking about, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. And that's that's real shit right there, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's not fake. It's no, no, because they fucking destroy a building that's been there for the longest, and then they fucking put a coffee shop. And I swear, like in Lincoln Heights, like all on Broadway, like you see that a lot, and it's just like fuck, like what's next, you know? Mm -hmm. Like they took out like the indoor swap meet. Um, oh yeah, and it's like that's it's just been up. empty after that with like the Dollar Tree, and then like it's yeah. been empty. Fucking and Compton Swami got so taken much, down yeah. for a Walmart, bro. And so much culture goes into those places, you know, like yeah, those Swamis and stuff like that. Yeah, yeah. like that's that true. Raider jacket would have been in there. Yeah, you know what yeah. I mean, fire. I was yeah. thinking of uh, the difference between Northeast LA and Southeast LA, mm-hmm. where you guys see more gentrification nowadays. I feel like here we don't really see them, but yeah. now you just said the Compton Swami got together. Yeah, that's bro. a form of. There's a Walmart over there. Yeah, now? it's a Walmart. Fool, they tore they tore down Compton. Damn, bro, I used to buy my jewelry there. Fire. But other than that, I don't know if we see that much gentrification. Yeah, my green, used to, my neck used to get green, but still worth it. <laughs> <laughs> that fool, yeah, the gentrification is is that shit is fucking saddening to see. Fool, fuck around and like you know you lose like you know Beto's Taqueria or like Doña. It is fucking meat market. We just lost one of my favorite places ever, Tams, right there in Highland Park. Oh, it's bro, gone. Man. But what's good though is that, like, you know, that's why I also like. That's why with a lot of my photo shoots and stuff, I like to incorporate things from my childhood or things I was raised on, because mm-hmm. luckily I was able to have a photo shoot right there right. before it got taken down. So I have a photo of me there before everything but mm-hmm. yeah it's sad yeah your your, your photo shoots do include like a bunch of like you know you have outside out of like you know liquor stores or m- markets mm-hmm. a lot of wife beater action going on you know what i mean a lot of cortez but it preserves like i feel like you guys' art form or 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 modeling aspect that you're taking on like it, it's preserving a little bit of like that northeast la culture culture yeah definitely and it's definitely more popular now yeah, dad. everybody wants Cortez's yeah. now. And bro. it's a trend. There's bro. a fucking, there's a shortage in Cortez's, dog. dog. They were like 60 bucks. They're like $120 now. Bro. Fucking posers. That's crazy. The funniest thing to me is when I be cruising through Fig and I be seeing the white hipsters with skinny jeans and their Cortez's yeah. on. I'm like, 
Okay. Looking for yeah, a yeah, scum yeah. and shit. <laughs> See, yeah, <laughs> that's the thing. Like, there's a certain aspect to that that makes me sad, right? Like, yeah, staples yeah. that are gone now. Mm -hmm. That's sad, right? Because it's childhood. It's it's nostalgic. But then my brain always goes, fuck that. I don't want to be sad. Mm -hmm. Like, let me embrace the future and the mm -hmm. next parts mm -hmm. that come, you know? But there's also beauty in conserving culture and stuff. Like, mm -hmm. you're saying, like, this is how my tias used to dress. Like, I'm trying to keep it going, you know? Mm -hmm. And that's cool, too. But, like, one thing I don't like, this is why I don't like, just personal shit. The fact that we divide each other so much. Like, yeah, we're brown, there's white people, there's Asian people, there's black people. But there's always these, like, we we're talking recently about the black people versus the Mexicans. Mm -hmm. And now we're talking about, like, Latinos versus Latinos and, like, fuck that white person and shit like that. At the, at the base of that, it's, it's kind of hate and resentment. You know, like, I feel like, can we just fucking all get along? Yeah. It's hey, fool, like, shut the fuck up, it's, just, it's hard when people step over their boundaries, right? Like, the gentrification stuff. It's yeah, like, it's God hard. damn, it's hard to fucking be like, you know what? It's, cause it's every, cool, dog. Everybody thinks, like, Put your booty. and Raza, like, <laughs> one always thinks they're better than the other, yeah. and it's just overlapping, 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 and we cannot always get along because everybody's always got something to say. Yeah. And it's something that's offensive, and it's something that's like, oh no, that's came like mm -hmm. from like back, back down generations. Like now nah, you're fucking to... around too much, like with that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So it's just it's, 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 it's not right. It's, like it's basic tribalism. Like we all find groups that we fit in that we call community, mm -hmm. and then we're like, if you're not part of my community, fuck your community. But you it's know? funny because like even we're all in the same community, we're still against each other yeah. no matter what. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's always gonna be that. Like I'm not saying like I could diminish that shit. Like it's gonna be around for yeah. a, a long ass forever. time. It's Probably still forever. Been, yeah. Like you know, there's always gonna be us being against us. Like it's not gonna go away, and it's sad. But that's that's just us. Yeah. Like that's just like what's around us, what we grew up around, and it's still going down like to this day. That's mm -hmm. why I always say I would rather a hundred times be promoted or sponsored by a company that's in my neighborhood or my community like tamalerias marias go order your pre-order yeah. holiday tamales right now you know what i'm saying Ooh. nice plug, sick man. ass sick way oh and then sick ass hainas yeah, we're sponsored yeah, yeah, by yeah. a sick ass hainas we're always sick ass hainas, so that's I just a, a private uh sponsor that she decided to sponsor us she said why is there a sick ass fool and not a sick ass high one? Oh, I fucking. So, I mean, we're out here fucking. Yeah, bro. We're out here yeah. fucking with our community and we always try to yeah. upbring it rather than mm -hmm. be like, nah, fool, hell nah. Mm -hmm. But sometimes, it, hey, bring, you bring yeah. the hell nah out of me sometimes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, mm -hmm. like, like, that's the thing. Um, I don't want to talk too much about me and this guy, right? Because for what? But for me, I'm always like, yeah, everybody together. We're all love. It's all family. And he'll be like, nah, fuck that. <laughs> <laughs> not in a bad way like it sounded but like for yeah. example like this whole podcast everything started and it got to a level that it's at all because of community mm -hmm. yeah everybody he, we focused on Linwood first we're like we're fucking with these people here people we went to school with that's how it started mm -hmm. after that then we start kind of branching out mm -hmm. but I feel like yeah Southeast LA Northeast LA we could all be one mm -hmm. you know like but he's like nah fuck that nah, you know? hell nah. He, like, there's a big ass 710 in the way <laughs> yeah <laughs> No, that's how we get there. It is possible to be one, you know. No, yeah. It is, it, but it's just about there's a level of boundaries and respect bound, that comes with it. Yeah, yeah. Dog, but yeah. when you cross it, it's yeah. like, all right, now, like, yeah. like, what's the point of even fucking with you out. if you're Childish. about to like yeah. do me like and that? That's the that's the main problem: lack yeah. of boundaries and respect. Everybody respect. respect. Fucking put a. It's boundary. not that hard. It's a simple ass word that people can't follow. Yeah, I don't know where people get the energy, honestly, <laughs> to fucking like care so much about something that doesn't in immediately uh affect them that's right with that caring i'm like you could have still had your job you could have just walked away she, yeah, right she i know she drove away crying I God, know she that, did. that bitch yeah. is it <laughs> hey is it fucking is it a crisis like humanity crisis human crisis right like if if like we're just constantly on everyone else's business and not except our own Nah, I think, I personally think in all human history, like all human history, I think we have it so good yeah. compared to human history. Like when there's meteor showers and fucking, fucking a tire, apocalypse. Yeah, T-Rex over here chilling, like, waiting like, for you to yeah, snack on you. That's that's not good. I Are you talking about like the era. environment we're better off? Or just like right now, like like Social right now. Uh, just comfortable. Like right now we're doing this podcast. We're all... We're, we got shelter we're, we got, comfy. we're comfy as fuck we got water you know we got food we're chilling but like let's say a thousand years ago yeah, or like two thousand years ago 
Mm-hmm. Humans were like fighting for their life. <laughs> Literally, communities against communities. Yeah, now we're over yeah, here in we photo be shoots. Grateful where we're at right now because yeah. you know there's somebody else right yeah. now in another house somewhere. Yes, you know, either chained up, starving. Yep. you know, all around the no world, no clothes. You know, yeah. But it also goes back to like how we grew up. Too. Yeah, yeah bro. you know when we remember like things from how we grew up and we're like yeah it's christmas we gotta time, be grateful bro. for like even the littlest shit that we've had yeah i'm not fucking scared to say i fucking thrifted these cortez like i thrifted like a lot of shit honestly like, <laughs> I was, I was thrifting. yeah that's like right. that's right thrifting is hard yeah, i was bro. just telling you guys oh my god started. thrifting is so hard bro no, it's not. <laughs> i mean bro i went to a thrift store for when i saw my high school uniform there I was like, why am I going to buy my high school? Hey. I, I was thinking about it, too. Cut it, up, cut, it up into a, cut it up into a crop top. And then you oh. see, like, yeah, nah, I'm like. Community. Come <laughs> Just be at the club with my uniform. Yeah, fireball. Falcons. Okay, yeah. Good dog, fireball hat. You That's know what crazy. I'm saying? Nah, food thrifting is hard. Fool, you'll fuck around and find a prosthetic. <laughs> you know what I mean? Hey, like, why? Fits. Whose prosthetic is this, dog? It's, it's a leg, a hand, an eyeball. <laughs> Yeah, I, I, thrift I was is telling too you, much nowadays. Yeah, what it's like it? you have to have like the like you have to have like your ear to the streets for thrifting. Like you gotta know when the drop is there. That's the good thing about living in Northeast LA. You got all the good ones out there. Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. Like yeah. honestly, put us up. Put us up on game. No, nah, no, no, that's, no, 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 no. Oh, not yet. I'm gonna burn it. Out. No, it's spots. not even that. No, even the good ones are hold bad on. still. Put us up on game on your process then. How do you like, like, oh, like do you go on the days of fucking when it's, when it just yeah, dropped so or what? there's certain days where they have deals. Okay. Why don't they? The deals, the days. Well, actually it changes, so I wouldn't even know. But they'll the have fuck? deals where they'll be like a dollar. Or oh, like dollar items like fucking Wednesdays? Okay, good one. Now it's expensive. Like oh, it's not even yeah. like thrifting like before. Yeah, I like, went to no, go, I, w- I goodwilled my fucking co- Halloween costume for that mm-hmm. shit was a cool 40 bucks, dog. No, not bad. Yeah, like, it's like a fucking that's retail kinda, store. That is pretty bad, actually. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I'm like, 40 bucks, that's not bad. Oh, actually, that is pretty bad. For, like, for a Goodwill, you know, that's pretty expensive. Yeah, Goodwills are expensive, but, yeah, I go, I honestly look through every single rack. Every single mm-hmm. building. You see, food, they got time, dog. Yeah, let's, time, let's talk, talk about this thrifting stuff. Clothes. Yeah, let's talk about it. Let's talk <laughs> about it, because I was telling you guys before we started that I went to Goodwill yesterday, mm-hmm. and I, I had my coffee. I had finished it in the car, because you can't take it in to check the or whatever. <laughs> and I had my earphones on. I was playing, like, some, like, soothing music, you know? Yo. It, people know I, I, I can't I can't <laughs> shop. Like, it, it gives me anxiety. Uh-huh. Like, seeing the hangers, like, so all the hangers. Yeah. <laughs> Oh I, my you know God. I love so it hangers, when bro. it's like that. I love it when like the hangers are so like Ugh. compact. <laughs> we need because to go together. It's, it's, <laughs> it's in between. The good stuff's always in between. So I'm like I'm thinking like uh, I think I've said this before. Uh, retail therapy, right? And I'm like today. Uh, last time I tried Nordstrom. Today I tried Goodwill. Oh, yesterday, right? Room. Yeah, worst thing. Don't ever go there. You got money. Don't ever yeah, go there. Nah. No, I already told the story, but some guy was trying to sell me like $200 pants. And I was like, oh, no. Yeah. Hell like, nah. Get the fuck out of my oh. face. And he was like pressuring me like a car dealership. And I was like, no, no, no. But yesterday, I was like, you know what? I'm going to have a good time at Goodwill. <laughs> I'm going to have a good time at Goodwill. I was there like at 1030. This is literally me. Whenever I'm upset, and he's I'm like, okay, Goodwill. Goodwill has me. Uh, and then I go, I go in bro. there and I'm like, all right, maybe some pants. Like Nordstrom, right? Pants, yeah, yeah. I'm struggling with the pants. The same right pants now. from Nordstrom are there? I'm struggling <laughs> with pants right now. Like mm. bad. Is it because you're tall? No, it's just I can't shop. Oh, it's no. like, <laughs> it's because I'm tall. I cannot. Like the thing about pants is like I like I want them to fit good. Okay. And like like I went to Goodwill and the 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 where you fit it, the fitting rooms, mm-hmm. they're closed. They're, they're closed. Oh no, that's what I'm saying. I'm like, how am I gonna buy these how the seven fuck you dollar pants? Know? You run home, swap seven it out. Dollars. Go in the car, fool. That's, no, you right, can yeah, exchange that's, it. That's, that's what I was gonna. A lot of people don't know. I'm this like, is what ass. I want to talk about. This is what I want to talk about. This is what I want to talk mm-hmm. about. So I'm in there for like solid ten minutes, and I'm already like sweating. <laughs> I'm like, I'm out of here. No, I didn't buy nothing. I was home at 11.45. Yeah, you got to dedicate, <laughs> just you gotta dedicate your day. <laughs> yeah. So let's talk about it. So like if you can't try it on, you just exchange go it, home, fool. stop it. It, dep- it depends like, or she probably upcycles it. Can I? What does that mean? Yeah, you uh, can upcycle. What does that mean? Like, um, <laughs> I don't know any like, of this. He's so bad. <laughs> He's so like, bad. What does that what mean? Does that mean? <laughs> like, upcycling. Uh, let me I tell think, you about it. Go ahead. Uh, it's like reworking your clothes. What does that mean? What is reworking? Yeah, reworking. <laughs> like, okay, work on it so again. So basically, yeah. So like, 
cut it up, unsew it, unsew the sides, sew mm-hmm. it back again. Because I have a sewing machine. That's how I make the pillows. Mm-hmm. And I have a bunch of fabric that I'm like, I have shirts that I've cut out and I just need to sew it, you know, do all just that. Like, but I'm like, mm-hmm. I'm going to get to it. I'm going to get to uh, it. I'm going to get to it. And I never do. But you're but, a fashionista. Yeah, that's the thing. She's a model, creative director, teacher, <laughs> chola, fucking <laughs> activist, I'm not fucking gonna, non-profit I organizer. I was therapist also. At the Sick ass point. fool so right I'm not going to sew shit. Dog. <laughs> Look at her pillows, fool. These are <laughs> fire, dog. Fire. And these are upcycled or just brand new no, everything? brand new. Can yeah, the people I buy these? The Where can yes. people buy, buy these at? Um, I don't have a website right now, but... Just, just hit her up Instagram. on the Instagram DM. and tell her you said... Yes. Yeah. Instagram. The so little boy sent you and then she's going to hook you up with some fucking... How do you feel about people that thrift, like, other than... Because, all right, I've heard that people that actually need to thrift, right? Like, oh, yeah. that don't have money to buy, like, brand new clothes. Yeah. It's kind of much people, harder for them. There's people that resell for, like, double the price. Yeah. Like, boy, is that crazy. what you guys do? You guys do something different? Do you guys hate those people? I just thrift because I need a closet of clothes. Okay. And you don't want to buy the new stuff. Yeah. Like, going, like, Forever 21, H&M, like, it's not for me. Oh, mm-hmm. shit. This not. is thrifted. Yeah? Yeah. I just I just remembered. <laughs> I thrifted this. This one looks like a Caltrans construction worker <laughs> on the freeway. Correct. Why the fuck is the 710 not done yet, bro? <laughs> He's on this lunch break. I'm on my lunch break. 710 has been fucked up for five years. Yeah, so. for real, dog. <laughs> At seven, ten and a half. But how, how do you guys feel about like the people that go to thrift shops, buy clothes, and then sell them for like triple the price? Honestly, when you go to thrift shops, you can actually see like who's there to, to fucking like to resell. They got yeah. the fucking and who's Yeezys there on. like that actually needs like clothes. Yeah, you can always scumbags. like. Are they scumbags? Would you consider them scumbags? I just don't like them. I like, feel like I look. I know like I that haven't met the person yet, but I'm just like, oh, I already fucking know what's gonna go down. Like, yeah, that shit. Thrift. That fucking trend is crazy. For you'll fucking find like a, you know, Harley, Harley Davidson shirts, for example. Those shits are going for like 120 bucks from like, but they have tour tear up yeah, tear yeah, ups yeah, yeah, and yeah. shit like all vintage 120 bucks. Yeah. Probably copped yeah. it for like five cents. That's mm-hmm. when I knew I had it fucked up. When like this uh faded shirt trend came in, you guys know what I'm talking about? Oh, like yeah. the old school like bands yeah. or like rappers, and it's like a faded black shirt. Yeah. yeah. I was like, hold on, we're into faded shit now. Like, <laughs> I thought yeah. it was about the crispy black tea, you know, like yeah, the fresh bro. white tea. Now it's like, oh, you gotta have. That. Yeah, if you have a fresh ass black tea or fresh ass colored tea, whatever tea, and it's fresh food, you look like a fucking square right now. Right now, huh? Yeah. Like you have to have some hole in your shit. I knew that's where I had it all. Oh no, I up. like, I like a fresh white pro club, fresh white. Yeah, that's bro. What I'm talking about. That's not yeah. fresh, is it fresh? It's not fresh. It's not that's, fresh. Hey, it's but it's still white. Low key, though. <laughs> low key. It's white. Hey, low key. Yeah, I'm fucking sweating, but it's still good. <laughs> What's up with pro club hitting like a fucking all time high though? I'm t- I'm telling you, yeah, it's, yeah, it's, 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 it's the trend, yeah, it's bro. The trend. I know a homie. I know a homie food that used to go to the store once a week. He'll cop fucking a three for three for ten. Three for ten. Three for ten. A pro, fucking pro sweats. clubs. Pro club. Sweats or how no much the, the t-shirts. Sweats? The, the sweats? t-shirts. The, three for yeah, ten. He'll cop two mi- two cobras and a, and some Newport lights full. Ready for the weekend. ready for the weekend, dog. Mm. But like now, food that will run you a, at least fifty bones, a hundred yeah. eighty sixty bones. That's crazy. That the market, crazy. fool. It's sad that it's a trend because people are so afraid of. Cholas, cholos. Mm, you know? Yeah, yeah boy, so now you're cool, dog. Everybody's trying to now you're trendy. now you're fucking an example of you. You know what? Gentrified. The other way. The other way. Yeah, I'm gonna go back to Hollister. <laughs> <laughs> now that I think about it, no, yeah. They're, oh, I think they're closing, so they might have every time they don't have by. deals. Oh, that's crazy. How do you feel about that? How do you feel about that? That your look is like. No, it is crazy because like I remember when I was younger, like. Like I said, trying to appeal that, like I said, that's all we knew. Trying to appeal to a white market, or maybe mm-hmm. not necessarily white market, Bands but you know, the biggest what's it called? Like, the mainstream, mainstream. You know what's being consumed the most. Um, because when I was younger, I remember the only reason I would have a few clothes from Hollis and Eric Crombie and Fitch. Eric Crombie and Fitch, but the only reason <laughs> <laughs> why. <laughs> <fuck you. laughs> That's how your mom said it. Every come here, está bien, está bien, tú dale, está bien, está bien. No le hace, no le hace. Yo también, yo también fui ahí. Hey, yo también quiero fich. 
um but the only reason Armando, why i would think? have it is because i had my uncle my gay uncle he was bougie he yeah. you know yeah, he yeah, had yeah. he worked in a barber shop so you oh, know okay. he was like no, and that's that's funny. Yeah, two colors like pop. Yeah. This Remember is that? a time when they would when they would have the models outside the store. Yeah, oh, like yeah. back then they would have the shirtless guy models. Yeah, I swear I have a Polaroid of me right, just like just <laughs> like <laughs> yeah, that used to be a thing, huh? Yeah, like yeah. take a picture with the Hollister with hot the dudes. With yeah, the, with like the, the gutters. Oh, with I the like gutters. gutters. Oh, the huh? Hollister, the gutter with, store. Hey, food right now. <laughs> Sexual misconduct, oh, yeah, big bro. dog. Catch a case, Hollister. Well, I mean. Like, there's, I get flashbacks. Like, I'm sure you remember, like, Tyra Banks and fucking, what was it? America's Next Top Model? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And, like, that was brutal. And at those times, it was, like, <laughs> MTV was playing, like, um the OC. Yeah. And uh, yeah, for those him. shows, like, the white people shows. Newport Beach. Oh, was funny my, how we like, surfers. Like, dude, like, the My Sweet 16, like, what the fuck? Why can't that you do shit, a quinceañera? That shit, yeah. Why yeah. My Sweet That was on Moon 3. Yeah. Or what is it? Moon oh, No, that was on MTV. My oh, Sweet yeah. 16. Oh, yeah? Bitch, I'm not even 16. Anyway, isn't it crazy how we watched like my next America's Next Top Model? Yeah, and we wanted to be like them. Yeah, that's why. Like, and I... then it's like now it's like now you it's guys so are beautiful that, but it's so beautiful now. Like now, like in Victoria's Secret, like runways, you actually see more women that have just like more. Um, how can I say? It's like more, curvature. Um, yeah, well, you could say curvature, but just like beautiful, like. Oh my god, there's a word for it that is just like because I don't want to say curves because curves are not just something that's in it. They have like it could be curves, it could be scars, it could be like okay. so much more. It could be cellulite. Realistic. Yeah, it's just like attainable what a natural like beauty natural. looks like yeah. a real Sick body. That's why I love Rihanna and I give her all her flowers because if y'all ever checked out one of her runway shows, have you? Nah. I, I mean, better, I'm not gonna lie. I seen, I seen some I pe- pictures. I peaked. Y'all, yeah. y'all better been watching. I went like this. I went like this. I'm not watching. No, like just because it's not just like she. It's it's more than a runway. Like all body types. Yeah. Everyone like big artists, people that are just coming into the scene. Um, yeah. Bro, my homie modeled for Rihanna. Shit. He was in the Fenty runway. Oh yeah. Like. That shit's crazy to me. I'm like, what mm-hmm. the fuck? Like, that's insane. I got an idea right now. Go. Runway show uh-huh. at Goodwill. Yeah. <laughs> but fuck then around. that's also that's also going to be like, okay, peep, there's going to be the backlash. The gentrifiers. Uh, Your gentrifiers. Because, I mean, with it. everything you do, you're going to get backlash. Like, mm-hmm. even with this last project I did, I was getting backlash. And I'm like, what? Ooh, what kind of backlash? <laughs> yeah, talk about it. <laughs> the backlash is interesting because... Just people... Well, you can't make everybody people. happy, dog. Yeah, the you thing is, you can't make everybody happy. happy, and it's like I don't mm-hmm. even want to say people this, people that, because everybody's valid to feel the way they feel. To be honest, yeah. But at same with me, you feel mm. me? I speak my experience. I never want to do anything to fake the funk to do this. I do everything out of respect, and if you can't meet eye to eye, if we can have that that conversation, then we can't. Because there was a girl that reached out to me. She was just like, she kind of just felt like. Chicanos were profiting. Chicanos were profiting off of indigenous culture and indigenous looks and all that. But I'm like, but this is my culture as well, and the models on the team are also indigenous. I'm gonna just start we throwing flags, have, like, they, and they told you this we, online. We have, yeah, like we all have ties and relations to it. Yeah, online, but specifically with this girl, like. Obviously, she communicated me her currency, but we were able to talk about it. Yeah, yeah. And yeah. everything was cool. Like, everything was yeah. cool. So, they were cool. We follow each other. But then there's also people that are like, no, 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 this and that. And it's just like... I seen okay. that. I seen that. Like, like, like I was I was one of the people that commented on the post that you did when you, you were, you know, putting this out there. I was I seen so many people backing you up and, and, and backing, like, each other up. You know, mm-hmm. with the everyone's p- beliefs and stuff, and like that, I was, I was gonna say, like, I'm gonna just start throwing flags on the on the fucking in real life. I'm a PC ref, dog. Flags on the play, <laughs> flags on the play, dog. Like, hey, food, fucking. I'm randomly start doing them, like. Yeah, just throw flags. <laughs> just throw a fucking flag, like, hey, flag on the play, dog. You not everybody can be happy. But you see not how it goes around, comes around. Like, yeah. You still have like your community coming for you, like the people that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You're, no, you can't make uh, everybody where happy. They, dog. Like where you come from, they still they find a way to just like get in there. And still come for you. But at the end of the day, it's like, we're all the same. Like, we're each other. But it's just, everybody's mindset is different. Not everybody is just, like, 
for each other. They always want like this little thing to just be like, I want to either be better than you uh, or I just want like my um, authority much higher than you mm-hmm. because you can like, I feel like a lot of like the way we look, people think like we're this is dumb. Just us. Or like this is just <laughs> like we're dumb. Like That's people, dumb, buddy. <laughs> I'm just like it, no. It's like it's funny, but it's like like people just think that we're just like we're not they, like they see and shit. Yeah, you know? yeah. Like, the carry situation. Like bro, it's the fucking teacher. There's so much exactly, more behind with the carry situation. As soon as she starts talking, me and the homie hit her with A B C facts. She was like, "Fuck!" They said they were gonna fuck me up. <laughs> <laughs> I don't you, even you, talk like that. Yeah, I don't. Bro, this exactly, is fucking... Exactly. I don't... Like, anybody that knows me, bro, I don't fight. I look like I fight, but I literally do not mm. fight. I will talk my shit. Don't get me wrong. But it's not even talking shit. It's like, I just... You're I'm grown speaking, I'm Facts. Just, I'm gonna just say what I gotta say, you know? But, yeah, I don't fight. So, just the fact that this lady was like... I'm a, she said she doesn't fuck me. I host. have not yet to... Comedy. Yeah. yeah. You got... You have to make a, like, a skit. Off that situation. <laughs> like, like the Terry situation? Yeah. That's crazy. That shit reminds me of. We like, have it all impact. on video, so it's. Oh, like, oh you damn, got the clip, bro. Like, it's gluey? <laughs> That's crazy. I haven't even encountered one yet. But yeah, the reason I asked you if you got the backlash online is because I believe that's the power of social online media. Online and in the real life. Like someone came up to you in real life and well, was like, hey, I don't like that's what you did. That's the thing though. Nobody ever comes up to me in real life. It's always like, but it's people I know in real life. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah and yeah. that's just not, that's not just applying with like just this last project, like with anything, you know, it's like people are always going to say something online or behind closed doors. No, it's never going to be to your face. Yeah. And that's where I come in and I'm like, okay, if you want to be like that, then I'm going to put it out there. Mm-hmm, you mm-hmm. know how you move. But yeah, I was getting backlash was really overwhelming just because i'm like it was months of planning and a bunch of drafts it wasn't even like this is the idea we have let's go there was a lot of changes that went on throughout the whole like time of it you know like okay let's change this let's change that we're not doing this anymore we're gonna add that you know right um even till the day of we didn't know we're gonna the models didn't know they're gonna walk outside yeah we specifically um rented out that venue to practice the walk and Mm -hmm. we're like yo just follow the leader at this point, and then then you guys obviously know what to do once you get back, you know, to where you started. Mm-hmm. And everything I think it was pretty perfect. iconic, though, having a runway on the street yeah, like that. Yeah, that was dope. That, that shit was, was sick. sick, fool, like that crazy. Sick. Like, I, I see it, like, as, as if it, it could be its own, like, Netflix show. The runway. Yeah, yeah, the runway. The runway. Yeah, <laughs> sick. Like, six yeah, episodes yeah. just leading up to be like, you fucking, like, indigenous. Yeah. Indigenous. Yeah, you can highlight <laughs> different, uh, different cultures. Yeah, yeah. that should be sick, like. That those are the and that's I commend you for that. Those are the decisions that make you a, a sick ass creative artist. Producer, that, yeah. and, and being you. like, "Fuck it, dog, we'll fucking do it live." You gotta run with the, you, <laughs> you gotta, know? You gotta yeah. be able to go with the flow and not like, like yeah, shit happens like adversity, right? You're throwing a show, is there in the moment if something happens, you can't be like, "Fuck." You gotta be like, all right, what's the solution here? Yeah, mm-hmm. full solution it. based, bro. None of that fucking tantrum having yeah. ass fucking yeah. pussy. I just, I just wanted to uh, maybe connect the little dots because we were talking about Tyra Banks and stuff like that, right? Mm-hmm. And how Victoria's Secret only had skinny girls. And nowadays we see plus size models, right? Even Down mm-hmm. syndrome girls, dog. And, uh, yeah, even that. Yeah, there we go. Two so down. What I, the, the dots I wanted to connect <laughs> was the, the, <laughs> the, play, <laughs> the play that, uh, that social media and the internet had on that. Because back then, when we were young, we would see, like, Victoria's Secret models and, like, they'll send the catalog to your house or whatever. You would see it and be like, oh, why isn't there no people that look like yeah, me on there? Well, because you had to write a letter or you had to fucking do something, you had send pay. it on. I remember in middle, was it middle school? It was either middle school or my freshman year. I remember. I, like, was it through the mail or word of mouth? I don't see. I do not know how I got here. But point is, I went to this, like industry thing where they're like recruiting models and like they teach you how to walk the like the runway with the heels they do their your portfolio they do all of that and like they give you an agent this was before i mean even now i honestly don't know much about much i'm still learning you know everything that's behind creative direction behind agencies behind recruitment all of that you know i'm still learning but obviously this was i had like i didn't i did not know shit about anything yeah i remember i went with my mom <laughs> it was so sad and then like yeah i, I got my heels and keep in mind i barely walked in heels yeah. i don't know how to walk heels but i'm like no i'm gonna do this you know i'm like no yeah, yeah, yeah. i want a model i'm gonna be a model and but i remember it was i was shitting it because i walk in 
first of all, tall ass, they're like she looked like boss, you know. But yeah. also, it's also it's there wasn't much diversity. You feel me? Yeah. Now walk and there's like the girls like walking, modeling their runway walk down the thing with their heels, and I was just like, oh shit, this is for real. Intimidating, yeah. Intimidating. And I'm like, okay, I'm excited. Comes down to it, you have to pay like what five thousand dollars just. Oh like, yeah. Fool. And I'm just like. I was so sad. I was like, it's a work. Yeah. It's, a, it's a scam workshop type shit. Basically, yeah. yeah, basically that. But that was like my first ever like introduction to it. Too you know, long. before I started doing it on my own with my phone and just like with the homies and stuff. So then now that I'm like, damn, anybody, literally anybody could do this. Yeah, thing. yeah, yeah. Like mm-hmm. even with like my students, I would tell my students like they're young. It was I taught at elementary school. Yeah, I would tell them like, bro, like utilize your talents there'd be kids that would draw and i'm like yo utilize your talents you know because sometimes i would be working with like the older kids Mm -hmm. and they all fuck with me bro they all like genuinely fuck with me like they would be like oh you're the they they call me the the swaggiest teacher oh there you go i'm the swaggiest teacher so i'm like yeah yeah but no yeah i forgot what i was trying to say but yeah (laughs) well we're talking about uh tyra banks victoria's secret And I feel like now that everybody can do their own stuff on the internet, they were like, fuck, we're falling off. We need to include these people. Yeah. Because now, not, not, not only can you do your own thing, now you can give your backlash with a, with a tweet Mm -hmm. or Instagram. You can Mm -hmm. be at home. Like, I don't like this and Mm -hmm. not have to fucking have to send a letter or talk to fucking corporate. Yeah, you could just do it from your phone. Like, yeah. hey, why don't you have people that look like me on your, on your fashion show? Yeah. Yeah, Because there is mainly before just one source one outlet to like mainstream media mm-hmm, mm-hmm. now with tiktok instagram like there's it's definitely everywhere. not one outlet when's the last right? time you picked up a magazine damn mm. that's yeah. a good you question. see what i'm saying like those are the like now everything's digital and, and if everything... i do it's an old magazine yeah it's, it's, like, a, it's the source i was yeah. probably bullshitting like yeah. pretending to yeah, look at like, it like, uninterested in whatever's going on yeah, over here like in a waiting room like god damn it these motherfuckers are taking forever let me see this fucking <laughs> look at this shit not even reading it just like god damn it the modeling's everywhere now yeah, like, even model- if you have a brand like including models like you know from around the community and friends like it's everywhere like even the runways like they matter but it's like it's not to a point where it's like oh i want to go watch it you know mm. it's like i see my homies like bring in like you know, people from around us, and it's like it's beautiful. You know, like me as a like, cause you know my brand is still growing. You know, I plug your brand. What is the brand? brand? Oh, <laughs> by Black Sage on Instagram. Oh, sick! I actually learned from my brother at Palisade. Um, you know, he's oh, actually, that's your brother? Yeah, that's my brother. Orale. yeah, hell yeah, sick yeah. Ass so you know, honestly, like when he started in high school in a classroom, you yeah. know, he had a sick ass teacher. You know, but. That's where I. That's why I started my brand because I love seeing what he was doing. You know, mm-hmm. just like this is so fucking cool. And then like all his friends, you know, supporting him, and then to seeing where he's at now, like, fuck, that shit's beautiful. And like when I started my brand, like he taught me how to screen print. He taught me, you know, like when I draw my images, like how to like put it into computer, how to print it out, Sick how asshole. to burn the screen. You know, like what paints you got to use, and you know the fucking dryers. It's just like it's a beautiful process, and it's like. The models he gets too, like it's just like it's cool, you know. It's like cool to see people that are from around here, like you know your community. Yeah, that's bro. what I want to do next, you know. Like as my you know business is growing, you know, I want to get people from around my community and go to Staples around my neighborhood and show, like you know, like it's not somebody that has a brand has to always come from like fucking Beverly Hills, Hollywood, whatever. Like. We come from, you know, a small ass community. We call it the hood, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So anybody's allowed to, you know, go ahead and make a business of their own. You know, anybody mm-hmm. is allowed to do that nowadays, yeah. and you know, it shows that like we can do this shit. You yeah, know, yeah, anybody's fuck capable yeah. of you doing anything. You can do whatever anything. the fuck you want. This whole episode we've been talking about, you can do whatever the fuck you yeah. want. Fucking uplift yourself, uplift your community, and be close. about it. Don't talk about it. Be about it. You know. I'm saying so there's a lot of people as, that fake as, the funk. <laughs> as two people that have been in front of the camera for various times, do you guys have any uh, uh, tips or advice for us? Because we're about to get in front of the camera later on. Because we're I know we're gonna model later on. Oh, you're gonna model? Yeah, yeah, we're gonna for, model for our, our merch. Yeah, yeah. For all we merch. usually oh. find other people to model for us. Yeah. But <laughs> this time I was like, yo, we gotta fucking we're the faces of this shit, dog. We gotta. So do you guys have any any advice? How many times do I have to like blink? Do I need no. lip gloss? Be yourself. <laughs> Be, yourself. Be yourself. Be myself. A lot of people think that they got to put up this persona for like whatever they're modeling for. Like, let's give, um, okay. 
I'm just trying to pick a brand where I'm not going to get Fila. Like, no. <laughs> um, Fila. Fila? Yeah. Okay. I haven't mm. seen their advertisement. I know. Nah. That's why I said Fila. I'm not <laughs> really. Um, I'm Fila. I don't know. Okay. But let's just say, like, just be yourself because in certain, like, places people think they got to put up, like, a certain look or face. Mm-hmm. Yeah, just be yeah, yourself. Yeah. Like, yeah. honestly, in front of the camera, you know. And if there is a creative director there, they'll help you out. They're, they're going to help you out. <laughs> but, <laughs> but it's like, be yourself. Be happy, you know. Like. Yeah. Yeah, of course. Like, like, if you feel like smiling, smile. If you smile. don't want to smile, I'm have a smile. straight face. Have the straight face. I have a nice smile. He has a nice eyes. Yeah, <laughs> yeah or like, barely any eyes. Yeah. No, well, I guess it'll be easy in that way because we are promoting our merch for this podcast, and it yeah. is ourselves. So. And you guys are homies too. Like, yeah. yeah, barely. That's, that's <laughs> <laughs> it's comfy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it does. It does help that we're friends and shit. Barely. Yeah. Barely. Yeah. Advice. Just be confident. Be confident. Oh, mm-hmm. sick. That's a solid one. You know what we can okay. always do? Ask questions to each other. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like, what kind of questions? Like, like, you you hungry? Hey, <laughs> you hungry? Do I look good? Do I look, do I look better yeah. like this? Straight? Oh, my yeah. God. You know? We can't oh, do we that. We can't do shit. that, bro. We can't. Oh, like, all right. Each other too. The mirror. Just be like, hey, clean your hair. Your hair. Yeah. yeah. You know? Yeah. Or you can always practice in front of a mirror. Just That's like starting to be yeah. crazy. If we got yeah, why cheek. can't you guys do that? Because we're so like... Toxic uh, masculinity? Nah, bro. The opposite of that. Opposite of that. No, no toxic, masculinity. Like, <laughs> feminine. Toxic like femininity. Like feminist <laughs> masculinity. You guys uh, go too far with I each think other. They, uh, nah. Yeah, everything's a joke. Almost. Everything. Fun. It's Everything. hard to no, be yeah. like... Unless we're yeah, like, yeah, all right, fool, funny. chill, fool. No, it's definitely funny. Funny. Okay, like even when I was directing this project... They're all my homies. So yeah. when, I, when I had to tell them, like, yo, come over here to take a photo of you. Or, yo, like, the, the rehearsal for the runway. Right. I, like, I had to be like, hey, like, everybody get on. Like, be serious with yeah, it, you know? Yeah, but yeah. it's like, I can't because they're my homies. Like, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> and then yeah. motherfuckers, they don't listen to me. They just yeah, have, like, dude, it's like get in practice. Line. You ever did yeah. quince practice? That's, it felt like a quince practice. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and then, um, yeah, so. Hell yeah, it's, yeah it's, it low-key was funny, I'm just saying. Yeah, it was funny. I mean, just have fun with it. I think we got it. Yeah, yeah, yeah we just got, got, got it. Well, we Juliana it. and Sage, what, are there any uh, projects that you guys are working on in the, in the future sense right now that you guys want to plug? Um, our community give back. Mm-hmm. So okay, so I just want to talk more about our community give back. Yeah, that's kind of right. like the project that we got going on right now. Um, we're collecting donations. We might uh, stop collecting clothes donations because I believe we have enough. Right now, we mainly want to see if we could find, like, a sponsor or see if anybody just wants to donate, like, cash donation or through Venmo as well. Because with that money, we're going to use to purchase grocery gift cards to put into, like, the bags that we're going to distribute. Okay. Mm-hmm. Um, we're also going to be selling T-shirts for this community give back since... This is something we we are doing. We might have like a t-shirt for each community give back. Mm-hmm. So I did like a quick sketch. Again, it all relates back to our neighborhood, Northeast LA. Sage is actually doing it. I just like did a quick sketch. She's, she's actually like That's right. drawing it and putting all the details and all that. She's going to be... Um, I'm going to be screen printing it as okay. well. Screen cool. printing the tees yeah. and doing all that. And if we have it in in time, hopefully we're going to be able to sell them at my homegirl's Priscilla's art show. She's okay. curating an art show this Saturday. Yeah. It's okay. called Putazos y Abrazos. Oh, um, yeah, yeah. I've seen that. Yeah. So make sure you RSVP. Go check it mm-hmm. out because everyone in the art show does all the homies. So okay. For sure. Go support. Yeah. Also, the, the, they're going to be selling um T-shirts there as well. Oh, yeah, yeah. Completely different design. Um, they're gonna be donating those funds to the community give back as well. So well, there you go, fool. Yes. Not only are these fools fucking cholas and models and sick ass high ass fools, these fools <laughs> care about their community. So go support. All it all it takes is just a little repost, mm-hmm. a little cash Venmo, a little purchase of an item. She has pillows for sale. You know, support your homies, support your community. That's what else right. can we say? You know what I mean? Yeah. All right. Thank right. you guys for coming so much. And then like, I wish you guys the best in your modeling career and. Just get it to it, bro. Yo, Appreciate that. Now, bro. now it's I'm your guys' turn. Now it's your turn to shine. Now it's my turn to shine. I think you need Juliana right now. You're the <laughs> <creative> director. <laughs> you need right, to get the fuck out of here. Thank you guys for coming so much. Thank you.